Happy Friday, folks. We made it to the end of the week, and here's how things are looking out there right now. Temperatures are pretty close to where they were this afternoon. Seeing a lot of uh, middle teens out into Minnesota, still seeing 20 right now in Fargo. In fact, 21 in Fargo, 20 in Grand Forks, still seeing those lower 20s in Jamestown and Valley City as well. Where the coldest air is, Halleck, Langdon, Bedette, that's where we do have some clear sky showing up on our satellite and radar. So notice that clear sky is down through, say, the Aberdeen area as well, southern Dickey County as well as uh, uh, southern Sargent County, uh, even down the, into uh, Traverse County as well. But here's the thing. You've got those clouds still in the Fargo-Moorhead area, and that is what's keeping our temperatures still fairly stable from where they were earlier today. But zooming in here into Grand Forks, we will see still some light snow showers occurring at this time. Again, they are few and far between, but they are heading toward the Crookston area, toward Climax, uh, Beltrami, as well as uh, another little batch of snowfall out near Laramore and Northwood. So we still could see some more snow showers up along the Highway 2 corridor, uh, but not expecting too much to come of those light snow showers. Here's how things look. We've got those winds out of the south as well, which those with the clouds are helping to keep those temperatures, especially in Fargo, stable from where they were earlier today. Here's the hour by hour, though, overnight. If we can see more of that clear sky become more widespread overnight, we'll see more single digits make their way onto that map. So I do expect a fairly cold start to our Saturday, but by and large, Saturday morning, is quiet. Now, lunchtime is when we're going to start to see some changes. We've got some snowfall moving up from the south around lunchtime and some more snowfall approaching the Devil's Lake Basin around the lunchtime hour as well. Temperatures by lunchtime, 20s for most everybody. So a mild day is in store for us. Notice by 3 o'clock that those bands of heavier snowfall moving through, say, the Fergus Falls area, Wadena, Alexandria, and then that uh, another line of snowfall up toward the north and moving through Devil's Lake and Langdon. That's associated with a cold front, and that, you can see, will be wafting its way through later in the evening on Saturday. But with that cold front moving through our northern neighborhood and through Roseau, Marshall, Kitson County, could see some bands of heavier snow and some higher snowfall accumulations in northern Minnesota for tomorrow. Notice that cold air on the back end of that cold front also by Saturday night. Single digits up toward Rolla when we're still seeing lower to middle 20s. Elsewhere, I do expect the snowfall to wind down and exit east by about midnight on Saturday. And here's about how much snowfall we're expecting. The, the pocket in northern Minnesota could see that one to three inches. And then could also see two to four inches perhaps down through uh, lakes country south of I-94 into central Minnesota. Most of North Dakota, though, I do expect to have nothing at all to maybe an inch of snowfall when everything is all said and done. But, of course, that cold front comes through Saturday night and temperatures fall through the day on Sunday, starting off around 8 degrees, cooling to near zero in the afternoon, and then negative 3 to wake us up on Monday. So a cold start to the business week and another cold morning on Tuesday, perhaps even a little bit colder than Monday morning will be. But then the good news is Wednesday, a uh, warm front moves through. could see a few flakes of that warm front, but, Mike, Andrea, that warm front means warmer weather on the way for the end of next week. All right. Thanks, Nathan.